You gonna surprise me with a house? Don't do that. A new TV? Maybe. A stereo, a couch, a refrigerator? Okay. But don't surprise me with a house that I ain't even have the chance to pick out. That's what you've been doing? That's the debt you had to pay? Darnell, you ain't bought no house without me. How many times in your life do you get to pick out a house? No. You bought a den for Darnell. That's what you did. So you could sit down there and watch your football games. But what about the kitchen? The bathroom? How many windows does it have in the bedroom? Is there some place for Jesse to play? How much closet space does it have? You can't just buy me a house and expect me to say, oh, Darnell, that's nice. At one point, I would have. But I'm not 17 no more. I have responsibilities. I want to know if it have a yard and do it have a fence and how far does Jesse have to go to school? I ain't thinking about where to put the TV. That's not what's important to me, Darnell. And you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know what's important to me like I'm supposed to know what's important to you. I'm not asking you to do it by yourself. I'm here with you. We are in this together. See, house or no house, we still ain't got the food money. But if you would have come to me, if you would have shared that with me, we could have went to my mother and we could have got $80 for the house and still have money for food. You just did it all wrong, Darnell. I mean, you did the right thing, but you did it wrong.